relationship between liver and gallbladder, kidney and urinary bladder. The liver is located on the right side of the lower jaw and the gallbladder is attached to the liver. They are linked by meridians and form an interior-exterior dyad. Bile originates in the liver and its storage and excretion depend upon the liver's conducting and facilitating functions. Unimpeded excretion of bile facilitates the expression of normal conducting and facilitating functions of the liver. Disruption of the conducting and facilitating activities of the liver can impede the excretion of bile as an obstruction by gallstones also. Stagnation of gallbladder chi impairs the functional activity of liver chi as well as the free flow of chi and blood. Therefore, the liver and the gallbladder cannot be completely separated in physiology or pathology. In clinical practice, diseases of the liver and the gallbladder frequently appear together. For example, flaring of liver and gallbladder fire can give rise to the syndrome of subcostal pain, impatience, irascibility, a bitter taste, and a dry throat. Dampness heat in the liver and the gallbladder can give rise to the symptoms of jaundice, a bitter taste in the mouth, and flank pain. In addition, the liver governs the liberation and the gallbladder governs decisiveness. These two work closely together to maintain normal mental activity and judgment. The kidney and the bladder are both located in the lower jaw. They are linked by their meridians to form an interior-exterior dyad. The kidney is a zang organ that governs water metabolism. The bladder is a fu organ that stores and excretes urine. The bladder's functions of opening and closing are dependent upon the transforming functions of kidney chi. If kidney chi is ample, the bladder's retentive power will be normal and it will be open and close, and it will open and close regularly to maintain normal urination. If kidney chi is deficient so that chi transformation is abnormal, there may be dysuria, incontinence of urine, and uresis and frequent urination. So here we could see the interior-exterior relationship of the liver and gallbladder and the kidney and the urinary bladder. Thank you very much for your attention.